I love the T-Series of the MG. These are just so lovely. The TC was a um, car which all the um, folks brought back from World War II. The TD was a continuation on through. It's a simple little British roadsters. Roadsters, of course, because they did not have windows, they had side curtains. This is Pam from NortheastWheelsEvents.com at the British Motor Car Gathering by the Keystone Region of the MG Car Club. This is the TF. This was the bridge between the new envelope style MGA and the old MGTD. You can see the differences right there. The most glaring at least. Let's continue on, shall we? All right, check this out, the MGAs. Now, one thing I want to show you, go ahead, grab onto your device over here. Thomas has a neat little device over here for the knockoffs. Go ahead, put it on the rim, on the uh, knockoffs. Is that cool or what? There we go, there we go. Can't get any tighter. No, definitely not. And then to loosen. There we go. Now it's loose. That's ah. fantastic. And now we'll tighten it again. No banging, nothing. And it does not mar the knockoff. Which is really important. Only plastic and wood touches the knockoff. I like that. There we go. Ta -da. Just put in a comment. Pennsylvania by me. There we go. Pennsylvania Dutch. So it's got to be good. You can tell he's Dutch, but you can't tell him much. I talked to her Thank you. Oh, all over the place. I'm crazy, crazy. My, my MGA, the silver one. I'm working my way down there. there. You go. That's what I like to hear. All right, classic auto mall. Yes. Look at these MGAs. This is another one of my soft spots over here. Is the MGA uh, coupe. These are so fine. I just love them. This 1600. But look at that roof line. Is that gorgeous? I just love the way that looks. What do you think, folks? The only thing I have against the MGA Coupe, you see the wraparound shield, the whole bit, they really had a nice car there, is that the top does not go down. I'm still into it. There's the top up on the MGA. Isn't that lovely? All right. Beautiful. Oh, yeah, yeah, I got your MGA. That is lovely. I like the way this car is really set up. You can see the pan down there for some aerodynamics. This is sweet. Robert really did a nice job on here. Check out the wood. Is that gorgeous? Very nice. Very nice. And that bright, bright, bright orange red luggage rack. Too cool. Let's continue on. How surprising we only have two early MGBs. This is 67, which really isn't that early. So is that one. I like the headlight treatment on this one. Kind of cool, very different. Very interesting, very interesting. And then, of course, we jump up a little bit into the newer ones, 68's on. MGB continued on for quite a while, into 1980, if memory serves me correct. It was the perennial favorite and, of course, the best-selling sports car until it was overtaken by the Miata. The Miata, in fact, was inspired by the MGB. These are just such nice, nice cars. This one has air conditioning. Pretty remarkable. Just show you what it looks like. You just barely see the controls over there on the right of the console. 
What's amazing is that with the original Lucas alternator is able to keep up because they are not very powerful. Not very powerful at all. Let's continue on here. Oh good, we got a break in the music. Let's see how long we've got it. Not long. Check out the MGBGTs. These are so sweet. Nice little hard tops. You can see the actual. They have a nice little back seat. Very tiny, but it's back there. Plus storage over there. Just handsome, handsome car. Let's see if we see any MG CGTs. It did have a uh, sunroof available, but it is a rather rare option. The original MG BGTs had leather interiors. There's the jump seat. You can see how um, well, if you really want to sit there, good luck. Just so British, it's just so wonderful. Twin SUs. MG CGT had the six cylinder engine under the bonnet. It's also available as an MG uh, B, MGC. That's the MG BGTs. In order for British Leyland to keep selling the MG, they actually lifted the front end and hung that rubber thing on the front. It's really kind of a shame. But they also took some horsepower away for the pollution. And one solution to that is the supercharge. Is that great? There are a lot of kits out there to uh, supercharge the engines. That is neat. That is definitely neat. Again, you can see how popular the MG, MGB was. It's a shame that the today's MG is nothing like that. There were some built, but they're uh, owned by the Chinese. Yes, I know, I heard that. This is Pam from NortheastWheelsEvents.com at the British Car Gathering. For more cool events like this, make sure you check your car show calendar. NortheastWheelsEvents.com, SoutheastWheelsEvents.com, UKWheelsEvents.com, and while you're there, post and share your events. And if you like this video, click subscribe. I'll see you at the shows. Here's that little TF, MGTF, look at that. Isn't she beautiful? I'm glad you're proving that Lucas Electric still works sometimes. And that, today is one of those times. Well, of course, it's daylight, of course. <laughs> and not raining. Yeah. At night, forget about it. <laughs>